Hello and welcome to another episode of BNA Reviews. Uh, I'm Jackson. I'm home at the movies. And we have a special guest, uh, Steven. Spoiler Steve from the Seen It Movie Reviews podcast is with us to uh, talk about this fantastic superhero film, Hellboy. Welcome aboard, Steve. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to talk Hellboy. Yeah. Well, who wouldn't be? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess let's just start with you, Steve. What did you think? Horrible. Worst of the worst. Worst of the year for sure for me. Whoa. This was atrocious. Whoa. I this- was, I, I'm kind of with you. I was sitting there wondering if it was worse than The Nun from last year. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, yes. It's one of the worst movies I've seen in the last five years. It's terrible. All right. I'm going to call you guys a bunch of curmudgeons and say that this is not a good movie. <laughs> But I did not hate it. Okay. Uh. He, now, let the preface this now. He's your boy. David Harbour is my boy. Yes. Okay. I, I like uh. him quite a bit. But, but he's the one and only decent thing in this movie. And even his charisma cannot save this essentially broken movie. Um. Yeah, I mean, it, it is it is broken. Um. Even him, though, it's like. I guess he puts on, you can't blame, this is one of those movies where it's just a disaster and I can't blame anybody. Right. But his character was like, like it took like the, like the hell boy, like the immature boy Mm. aspect of hell boy and like cranked it up to 11 the whole time. Right. I mean, he is just a fucking baby throughout this entire movie. Most of it I enjoy, like, especially at the beginning, I like the whole like, uh, uh, secret door. Right. Like that's 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 all right. Did you like the wrestling match at the beginning? I didn't like the wrestling <laughs> match. Um it was weird. It was weird. Because like I'm like, ah, the phone thing. That could work in a better movie, you know? Oh yeah, that was terrible. It could work in a better like maybe by the end, like he realizes he can just, you know, voice command it like Siri. Or, or you just don't have, like, he hits it with his rock finger yeah. in the first part. Right. And then, like, the next time he doesn't and he still breaks the phone. All right, Steve. I'm wondering. Yeah. I'm wondering, Steve, what yeah. did you hate? Like, okay, for both of you, for both of you, what's your grade and what did you hate, like, the most? Like, what just <laughs> boiled, you know, what made this hell more than hell boy? <laughs> nice work uh, there. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, uh, my, mine's in it, like how uh, how Jackson sometimes says like F plus or whatever. This is an F minus. <laughs> this is just like really bad. Uh, for okay, so and this is me like putting in like averages, like ratings, like within to make the average. And I was able to, for me, my my rating was like a twenty nine percent or something like that. Ooh. I think what made the rating so high was the CGI isn't the worst in the world, but you know there's CGI involved. Uh, and yeah, David Arbor is not the worst either, but you can tell he's kind of phoning it in at times as well. It seems like he doesn't want to be there. Uh, but I think my, the best way to summarize this is like, it reminds me of like a PlayStation game where like you get, a uh, you get like a, a trial run. It's like a month before the game comes out uh-huh. and they're giving out all these like free passes and you're able to play like a little bit of like the first four levels, but not everything. And they're <laughs> okay. hoping that you're going to come back and buy the game in full. Right. That's what Hellboy is. They're hoping you'll come back for the universe. Right. That's that's kind of actually, that's a really good analogy. I like yeah. that. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like a real full fledged thought out product. No. Well, well the movie, like this movie has like two beginnings. Right. Well, and it, and it, <sighs> And it fluctuates so much. Like, it just jumps from scene to scene to scene. Um, And if you know anything about post-production on this movie, it was a fucking nightmare, apparently, with all the producers vying for, like, Final Cut. And, yeah, it's a nightmare. I'll tell you what I hated about it. Okay. Um, that, That aspect of it plays into this. Yeah. But the movie knows that it's not, like, the information's not being dealt to you in, like, a clean, concise way. It's just no. jumping from action scene to action scene and whatever. Mm-hmm. So they're constantly reminding you of what's going on. Like, 
like the whole be- the first three minutes is like that prologue scene where it's like okay you've set up the oh my God. the witch the, prologue the witch scene. being cut by, by Excalibur or whatever um, and then I remember there was a there was like a hotel scene or they're at like a motel or hotel or something and the Asian guy like is talking oh, and yeah. someone has to tell the story again yes and you're like okay you open the movie with this um, there's another scene in this where it's like one of the characters and we can get into it and spoil I guess, but one of the characters is like in peril. They show up and he's not there and they're like, and Hellboy's all concerned. Mm-hmm. And the, the girl character immediately is like, no, it's okay. If he was dead, I'd know. And it's like, why would you do that? Yeah, that, that's, that was, that was a moment where I was like, <laughs> I cannot believe that this was written because it's like way to take out any tension. Yeah. Like, uh, and it's an ugly movie for the most part. Yes. Yeah. It's not It's not enjoyable to watch. There's some action in this that reminds me of like CW television shows. Mm-hmm. Like I know not to shit on CW television shows because I think they're like a guilty pleasure. Like mm-hmm. I enjoy them when I watch them or whatever. But, but yeah, like a big budget movie shouldn't look like a CW action scene, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. So... What would you, so we have one F minus. What's your grade? I was actually laughing, thinking about giving it an F minus as okay. well. Um, and then I know that we don't give F minus minuses on this show. I think Steve is the first one. Yeah. So Steve broke the mold <laughs> and gave it an F minus. I'll just give it a straight F, but it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it is a, from the moment it starts, you're mm-hmm. just like, oh boy. Like literally from the first 10 seconds that something shows up on the screen, you're like, Ooh, yeah, this is trouble. Yeah. There's a scene in this where the witch's body parts are like sitting on the couch and she's like flipping through the television channels. Yeah, that's she awful. hasn't been alive in how hundreds of years. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, she's got the je- my my dad barely knows how to use a remote and he's been using one for, you know, okay. 70 years right. or whatever. All right. You she's accuse learning. me. You, you <laughs> accuse me of getting lost in the weeds. I mean, that's one hell it of a day. It's no, I thought you were going to go to the CGI in that scene because that was terrible. I'm going to give this and I'm, you know, I'm going to give this a D minus. OK. <laughs> See, this is when you know what's bad when someone gives it a D minus and the like, other people on the panel are like, ooh. It's almost an F. <laughs> it, it literally rides. The only thing that brings it above an F is David, David Harbour. Yeah, well, it's the only thing. Yeah. And, and I will say this. I actually did not mind the makeup on David Harbour. Uh, I feel like some of the makeup work, I mean, somebody clearly did, put, yeah. did, like, did some work did on this. Did care, right. Right, like the, the Baba Yaga character. It, She's got like this kind of interesting design, you know, like it's not a great design, but the makeup is pretty good. Right. You know, Um, that was maybe my favorite sequence in the whole movie. It's just so it's so out of place. Yes, it's it's so out of place. Right. It doesn't belong in this movie um, because it's kind of one of those like, hey, Hellboy's been on other adventures before. And here's shorthand for that. You know, and it's like that's that's fine enough. But no, I liked the whole like. There are children in there. I liked how creepy the Baba Yaga character was, which was really funny because the first introduction to the character, I'm laughing at her voice because it's fucking awful. Well, that whole concept is awful. Like they're both scorned by Hellboy in the past. So they're sitting at like a table discussing how they're going to get back. It was just and and the crab walking like I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God. See, now to your point about the uh, the Hellboy design. Like, let's just talk about that for mm-hmm. a second. I kind of liked it. Um, I kind of see what they were going for as far as like, okay, this is like an uglier horror kind of hell boy. Right. You know? And it and, had a little bit more realism to him. Uh, uh, I mean, he was Ron, worse than Ron Perlman in every way. I I, no. I, I liked him Stop fine it. enough, but, but uh, the design was more realistic. I'm talking just design. Just design. Yes. Okay. The design is more realistic because Ron Perlman, when he took his shirt off, the muscles were a little, it was a little cartoonish in a way. Okay. Um, this was, this looked more like, like real muscles. Sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, it was, I mean, this is tough. I, okay. The, this is where it's like, I don't even understand why they made this, why mm. this exists. It's just like, you'd think if you're going to reboot something this quickly. 
you have something really good. Now, I do want to mention, I believe Neil Marshall directed this. Yeah. And it shocks me that it was so bad because The Descent yeah. is like one of my all time favorite horror movies. Well, I mean. And he knows how to like make a horror movie, apparently. So I don't know what the fuck this was. Well, like I, like I said, producers took over. He didn't have final cut. They butchered his movie. Right? Yeah. And I mean, I think it also really needed a script rewrite. But Steve, I mean, do you have the same sort of thing? Like the same sort of like love for the Ron Perlman I mean, I really did enjoy the Ron Perlman uh, Guillermo del Toro ones. I wasn't the biggest fan of the second one. Mm -hmm. I remember like seeing that in high school in theaters and like thinking like, I can't believe they're doing this like twin route. It was like one of the first times I saw a movie and was like, oh, these can be bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, like, I like, like them like, both. You, I you're okay. you're playing me off though, Alex. As if I like, they're not like my favorites. Like, right. like I would give probably. A B plus to both of them, maybe. I'd I'd probably I'm a little I'm I'm with Steve. Uh, I'll go with like a B plus on the first one and probably a B minus on the second one. No way. I mean, just the goddamn troll town. I mean, and well, shit. I mean, I love like the the, 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 like, the production design is fantastic on right. both, but the story on the second is not as it was good. Pretty good. I eh. and and the the final battle with the golden army is a little too CGI heavy for me. It does not age well. It's funny. It looks better than than the giant fight in this though. Like the giant fight in this was, uh, oh my God, it was pretty bad. Let's get into spoilers. Spoilers. Spoiler, uh, Steve. Yeah. Spoiler, yeah, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Since it's spoilers. All right. <laughs> most the, the the things you hated most. Spoiler, Steve. Let's go. Okay. The thing that I hated most was the Boba Yaga shit. Uh, I hated that. Uh, really? Alex, I think, I feel like you and Jackson like switched places for this movie. Cause I thought it would be like the opposite <laughs> before we like record. I was like, Wow, I can't believe this is happening right now. Like, Alex, I thought you were going to destroy this movie. Uh, that's why I'm so shocked when you said D minus. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> David Harbour. Uh, David Harbour, Steve. I mean, I okay. I, I don't mean I, I, to I interrupt I you. Mid, I don't mean to interrupt you midstream, uh, uh, Steve. <laughs> but um, yeah, charisma of a main character goes a long way for me. If I can at least okay. tolerate your main character, that helps. And I could tolerate David Harbour's Hellboy. The rest of the movie is just god awful, though. See, now, if this yeah. would have had Russell Crowe as Hellboy, probably an A. A minus, maybe. <laughs> See, that's how you know we didn't switch bodies on this right. one, Steve. Uh, but yeah, no, Steve, right, continue. Right. So the Baba Yaga thing. Uh, Baba Yaga, I hated it. Like, the whole makeout scene, was. I was just like, what is what is happening? And then we've got the the warthog dude from uh teenage mutant ninja turtles showing up <laughs> bebop. i feel like he's in the bebop yeah i feel yeah. like every time he's in the movie we're in a different movie like when yeah. he shows yeah. up for the first time i'm like what is going on i knew the movie would be horrible the second ian mcshane says fuck for the first time in the narration because oh, no, it felt forced and you could, I, and you could tell that, that they're like we could say fuck and i yes. love ian mcshane especially when he curses and this just felt so like like forced. I was just like, man, they're really trying to get on yes. us. And uh, the whole, I knew it was going to be really bad when they cut off Mila Jojovich's head and she's still freaking out. Like, <laughs> I'll get you for this. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? I was just like, I was that, ready to leave. The only reason I didn't leave is because I wanted to review it with you guys. I would have loved that, to have this movie. It was oh so my bad. God. That narration, that opening prologue to this. I mean, that was and the that, thing of like legends. It was like Zach, it was uh, it was like a, a shitty Zach uh, Snyder ripoff or something. Yeah, it, like, felt like a oh, shitty yeah. three hundred or something. Well, well they like. Oh, and I think God. that was supposed to be like in the end of the movie when they're explaining it to what's his face. But the producers, the way they cut it up, they're like, let's throw this into the beginning. Because yeah. we didn't need any if of that. They, no, but if they didn't have that at the beginning, I would have had no fucking idea what was going mm. on. I almost. I mean, I actually mm -hmm. almost. You know what? Movie becomes better when you take that out because one, it's really bad, but two, you at least have some sort of mystery of who is this woman, what's going on. So then, when somebody tells you about it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Because then, I mean, think yeah. about like Hellboy goes on the adventure and goes on the hunt with the uh, giant hunters, which that was just so piss Ugh. poor. Like the oh these yeah, guys. it was so dumb too, and the fact that like it's a trap for Hellboy, yeah. but there's actually it's it's a real thing. It doesn't make any sense, right? Like yeah. take him somewhere where there aren't giants, right? To yeah. come <laughs> <kill him. laughs> really funny. 
<laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, the part that got me the most was there's a scene where like the Asian cat dude. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that cat dude thing that made no sense. But he's like, that wants, was so he terrible. wants a bullet made <laughs> yeah, to yeah. kill Hellboy with. Yep. And they're like, why are you doing this? Like, you know, whatever. And he's like, well, I was an actuary. <laughs> I, was an, I was an actuary. And he goes through this thing and he's like, it's just math. Right. And you're like, no, that's not math at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, it was, oh, God. And, they, and I'm they sitting tried- there. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, go, Steve. Go, Steve. They, they try to make him the Hulk because they had Hellboy punch him in the face with his rock hand. And you're oh. like, what are you doing? And he knocked him out. Like, That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then the whole his his backstory. Oh, that was an awful scene where so he's telling on. it to the girl. Maybe, and the girl's oh, like, yeah. I'm so sorry. I well, didn't know. <laughs> maybe you guys can explain it to me. Maybe I missed something. I kind of glazed over. Okay. It, so so I, here's Steve. This here's, is on you. Here's what uh, I, I here's what I heard. <laughs> Here's what I heard. He went to the jungle with his family or some shit to hunt this thing. Like they were hunting yeah. the cat. W- was it his family or like like a like a squad of like people? Like I thought it men. was his fam. Maybe okay. that's how out I, of I it I was. I, I don't know. But yeah, he's <laughs> in the jungle like with his gun and shit or whatever. Maybe he was a kid. I don't fucking remember. But the point is, I thought they were hunting the cat. Yeah. And oh, then that, he that, is the, the cat. Had how the, is he had, the cat? Had a- <laughs> had a great line which is like we were hunting it but really we were the hunted <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, just... this movie was just oh I, man. I, okay another thing i want to say very clearly is there was a guy snoring two rows behind me the entire movie oh uh, shit like dead Dude. asleep and i couldn't even be mad because right. it's just like this is more entertaining than the movie <laughs> and then and then uh and then the other thing to note is I was probably there were probably like seven or eight people in our theater when I saw it and not one laugh. I'm like no shit. Right. Not a single laugh at anything that was supposed to be funny. The entire movie. OK, did you did you guys hear like like snickering and laughing at parts that weren't supposed to be funny? I was doing it. OK. Steve? Yeah, I, I I, mean, just like you, I had a guy two seats next to me snoring throughout the movie. He kept okay. falling back asleep. And I was just like, I hear you, man. Like, I, did, I wasn't even mad. <laughs> so what I heard in my, theory, uh, in my, my theater was uh, uh, I had one guy who laughed a few times at, like, intentional the jokes. The jokes, sure. Um, and then there was another guy who laughed both at intentional jokes and not intentional jokes. So I kind of got I, no snorers in mine. So, so maybe, two out of three had yeah, snores. Two, yeah. Maybe that's how we should grade this movie is like two out of three snores. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, trying to think, what else is there to really talk about spoilers wise? Oh, oh I, well, okay. go ahead, Steve. Go ahead. You're the uh, spoiler I, I'll, expert. I'll, did they? I don't remember. It was the first movie or the second movie that they killed the father. Uh, I believe the first one he died. The I first think it was. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It was. Yeah. And oh, yeah. that you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Uh, uh, the relationship between him and his father is supposed to be like the glue in this. Not does the emotion. No, it doesn't work at all. And it and it worked so good in the original. There was yeah. something about their relationship. Maybe it's because the prologue was about him finding Hellboy, but in this one it was just like the the whole backstory of those two is like like he doesn't say why he felt inclined no, to save Hellboy. No, no, there's no there's no emotional sort of through line that makes sense for it from a narrative perspective. It just sort of like you're just told he did it because he's a good guy, and you're just told that he loves him. Right, he never does anything to show it. No, and and you don't. It's just kind of like, well, they wanted Ian McShane to be Ian McShane. And so, therefore, he couldn't show any loving emotion to the guy. And it's like, well, you shot yourself in the foot because this is so unbelievable. Right. Um, Yeah, it's terrible. It's a terrible relationship. Well, it's just a waste to kill him because, for one, if you've seen the original you or the the second one, whatever, whichever one he dies in, you know what's going to happen. So, instead of, like, maybe making a joke about it, like with Nick Fury's eye, and we keep almost killing him in this movie. Hmm. When he actually does die, it's like, okay, just another story beat to make us feel bad. But maybe, I don't know, I'm a little annoyed that they, they actually killed him off in general. Like, what was the point of remaking this movie if they're just going to do it beat by beat? Like, I, don't, right. I wouldn't even call this a reboot at this point. Yeah, it was, right. you know, I it's, think, okay, so I think. like a great point. It actually. is a good point. But the, I think in the first two, I believe there were flashback scenes to the dad in the second one. 
Like they kept so. him around. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen. But the no. But movie. good yeah. point. I mean, if you're going to do that again, fuck it. Yeah. The, okay. I, I do want to say. And they tossed say, away Rasputin. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just. Yeah. I mean, that's my biggest thing with this is like it's just this giant retread of a series that's already been done. And so, like, even the whole like you're going to bring about the apocalypse, like it doesn't ring interesting or true no. in any way because it's like been there done that and well, seen it better how hilarious was that entire ending too where it's like okay so the wizard uh merlin, <laughs> merlin, merlin brings excalibur he oh he brings God. excalibur hellboy turns down taking excalibur that's like a character moment where yeah. it's like okay he's not gonna be you know be that guy right but then like they're in the church and he falls through the floor and oh it's excalibur again oh this time he just takes excalibur yeah um and then and then there's not much tension because when he's got Excalibur, he's going to kill uh, Mila Djokovic or something. So, like, basically, the Asian guy is there with the bullet yeah. so that even if Hellboy makes the decision to, like, go the wrong yeah. way, it doesn't matter because Asian guy's just going to shoot him. Also. I will say, though, watching those demons, like, rip people's skin off mm. and fucking bust their heads. That To me, that was like, oh, wow, that's kind of neat. But, well, I mean, it looked so fake to me that I was just like, eh. I suppose. Like, this is like Resident Evil type shit. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, I was like, got a reaction out of me. I was kind of right. like, there was quite a few like, oh, damn. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I mean, I liked it for that aspect. I don't know. I it, it, it makes like no sense though. Like Hellboy, like he becomes evil, so therefore, like like they don't establish any sort of like magical stakes for it either, which is why it sucks. Because like all of a sudden he gets it, and his horns grow out and shit, and he gets the fiery crown. But like, so the, like. Yeah, how exactly the, the, like, does it like, work? Like the demons just come out because he's got the sword now. Like, yeah, what Doesn't happened really make much here? Sense. Yeah. You know, and I hate like Mila Djokovic is just a joke. She's fucking terrible. She, I don't even fucking know how to Mila pronounce her. Mila joke of it. She's yeah. a joke. Yeah. That's why I said it that way. Yeah. No, I think that's. How you I, say I don't know. I, I don't know. I think if you're it. a dumb American, that's how you say it. Yeah. Right? She's she's awful in this. Like she's, she's really on a hot streak, period. Oh, yeah. Since Fifth Element. <laughs> she, I mean, she needs to join fucking. Uh, oh, God. What's that one from Suicide Multi Squad? Ass. Oh, uh, multi-pass. <laughs> uh, she, hold on. You know what? Oh, like Blood Wars? Like that actress? Uh, that Underworld? No, no. She needs to join a uh, uh, Suicide Squad lady. The, uh, the, the, the blonde? Enchantress. Oh, the, oh, the Enchantress. Oh, Encha oh. oh. She's about as that. She's about that. She's bad. got a, uh, but yeah, that, I don't know. Mila has a little more spunk and personality than yeah. that. Uh, Chloe Divine, Divini, Divine, or whatever her name yeah, is. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, she hasn't well, done also anything good. Also, a Lupusan movie, right? Wasn't she in? Uh, yeah, she was in. Uh, the, yeah, she the was in Valerian the Valerian movie. Valerian, Valerian. yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got a book. She, I mean, nah, but I don't. Yeah, know. I, I don't know. This one was fucking weird, and I, it does make me happy to know that Guillermo and Ray, uh, you know, uh, Perlman were fucking watching this right. somewhere, and they're just laughing. Right. Like there's no way this is embarrassing. It, I, like it really is. It was it was really bad. The the whole like get you psyched for the sequel bit. Oh god. Dude, there was a post credit scene. I know. Did I you know. watch it? I watched it. Did you? What it happened? Uh, uh uh Thomas Hayden Church comes in as the the claw, the the lobster, whatever. The World War II thing. Like he okay, Hellboy is crying because his dad's dead. He's at the uh, the the morgue or whatever. He's there, he's crying, and then Thomas Aiden Church shows up and he's like, I'm the lobster and he's like, Can I see your claw? And he's like, Oh my god, you're my hero. And it's it's just it's it's ridiculous. It was really bad. It was like, look at us, we're trying to be a Marvel movie. Like that's really what I got from this was somebody who like really didn't know what they wanted to do. Like, do we want to do a rated R? Oh God, the music in this. Oh yeah, that's true. It's not even that the music itself is bad. It's just so poorly oh. used in every single scene, like yeah. every scene. Oh my God. The scene where they go on the hunt Oh, and it just, the music comes in literally for like 10 seconds just for like, and they only use music for scene transitions. You notice that? Yes. It's so awkwardly placed. And then I noticed too, like, you know, they do like the big bold text whenever they go somewhere. Yep. It happens so quickly. Their establishing shots are so fast. It was just, it's, it's just, it's a hack job of a movie. It is a hack job. It's so, embarrassing. Yeah. I feel bad for Harbor. everybody involved. 
I don't really. Oh yeah. We need to talk real quick. Maybe this will be the last thing we talk about. We're running a little long here. Um, Ian McShane at the end when mm-hmm. he like, that was the worst like CGI. Yeah. I mean, that was like, that was mortal Kombat. It was almost like Scorpion <laughs> King bad. Yeah. yeah. It was, I, I, I was a speechless. I couldn't believe it. Steve, I, I, I know we're running a little long. I'm still wondering what, what I, I want to know more of what you guys hated. Is there is okay? No, uh, more, yes. oh, I got more, more, more no, interesting. I got more. Uh, okay, go ahead. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> uh, I hated how he met. First off, is Alice from the original movies the fire person? I don't think so. Is uh, I don't remember she, her name, but she that's she not, not the girlfriend her. From Hel- I don't think her? that's okay. her. No, but oh yeah, because okay, well, I couldn't tell if that was a relationship or not in this. I don't right. know what was going on with those two. But they're immediately like, hey, remember me as a kid? Yeah. Oh, my God. We're best friends. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is this? That's a good point. Because he saved her when she was like a fucking baby, baby. right? Yeah. 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 Oh, God. That whole like. And wait a minute. And is the is the is Bebop pissed? Yes. Because, because he had he the was silver supposed, thing. Yeah. yeah. He That's was supposed, it? He was supposed to take the girl. Well, okay. They tried to have a thematic arc here about like people in the dark and we're you know i like he was going to take the girl spot and be right. her therefore live in a nice safe good world it just it rings so false because just so shitty it, it's just bad it's just really bad but last question i'm gonna ask you guys because um you know i didn't hate this movie like i i hated <laughs> suicide squad more than this oh. batman versus superman more than this dude this uh, this makes those look like fucking the godfather i understand me. that they are probably a little bit better from like they're they're better movies in certain aspects but there are certain things and by the way liz was the name of the main character the girl character in the original. okay okay uh, okay okay yeah. yeah i would not have got that um was there something even just a moment that you liked in this closing thoughts. I just told you the yeah. only moment I liked, and I mean the only <laughs> moment, like there was nothing. This movie was a fucking barren wasteland. The only thing mm. I liked was like the 30 seconds of demons walking through London, ripping people's skins off and breaking their heads. Cause, cause that was like a reprieve, <laughs> like something is happening in this movie and I don't understand why, <laughs> But this is kind of entertaining and it was and it felt out. It felt like a a little bit of a gamble, like like the crab walking by the the witch lady. Mm -hmm. What's her name again? The The Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. I'm like, okay, we've seen this before a million times, but this was kind of just something giant demons rising from hell and ripping people to pieces was kind of a fun idea. Baba Yaga. (laughs) But (laughs) Steve, what do you got? I got nothing. Was there anything? The only thing I th- I think I laughed once, and I think this was the scene. It's when he's getting out of the bus or whatever, and he gets shot at, and he's like, "I'm on your side." They're like, "Sorry." I think that's the only time I laughed, and even then, I was mad at myself for laughing at that. <laughs> See, and that's and that's interesting because at that point, David Harbor's like charm had worn off on me, so I was just like, "Ah, oh, fuck you." Yeah, no, <laughs> it, I felt bad for him. I really did. Yeah. Well, he's going to be in Black Widow, so no need yeah. to worry. He'll be fine. That's true. Supposedly, and he and defense. Ian McShane wrote some scenes themselves. Yes. Yeah, they did because they did not have faith in the director on this one. Yeah, and they and the producers fired the cinematographer to make a, a statement that yeah. the director wasn't in control. Yes, it was a fucking shit show behind the scenes. You know, there's this guy uh, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> He's like one of the most <laughs> amazing directors, and he really wanted to make another one of these. Yeah, yeah. Gee. I- I am kind of thinking we might get one. You think this might be like I think people that, are going to be. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, if they can. OK, it could backfire and let's, end up bringing Hellboy three. Let's crowdfund it. <laughs> hey, hashtag not my dude, Hellboy. <laughs> uh, apparently, um, you know, the tragedy in France, uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, I heard today they crowdfunded three hundred million dollars to for you know the rebuilding efforts wow i mean this is as big of a wow. tragedy as that is isn't it oh boy we can get 300 million for this <laughs> there's jackson with his bold statements again <laughs> but i think but yeah. i think we're ending uh, yeah that's you know. it uh, and yes that was a joke people. yes yeah nobody get offended but uh steve thank you for hopping <laughs> in on this one 
Yeah, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. It was a lot Any, of fun. Anytime. All right. Yep, we've been bored and annoyed. And we can find Steve over at the Seen It podcast. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry that this was so bad for everybody but me. <laughs>